بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا فرسٹ لرننگ پاتھ پریپیئر دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک مرج اینڈ اپینڈ کویریز وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن ٹرانسفارم اینڈ لوڈ دا ڈیٹا ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز وی آر ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ ریلیشن شپس اینڈ جوائنٹس سو دا ورڈ وچ از یوزڈ ان دا پاور کویری سسٹم to represent a join is merge so if we look at the word merge it act essentially means that we are joining the tables so let's first look at what do we mean by joining the tables and then we are going to see how we can do this joining or merge operation inside the power query editor so once we talk about joins we are talking about four types of joins so we are going to have a look at each type of join in a bit but first you need to understand that if you want to join any two tables then there has to be at least one column at least one column that is common between both of these tables so if i have a look at this table we have a column customer id here and if i look at this table then i also have a customer id column here so based on common column i can say that i can join this left table and right table The first type of join that we are going to have a look is called as the inner join. So we have already seen that we have customer ID in the left table and customer ID in the right table and we want to perform an inner join between the two tables. So what is the requirement? The requirement is that we require first name, last name, order date and amount for analysis as the columns in the resulting table so first name is coming from this table last name is coming from this from this table so these two columns are in the left table and order date and amount these two columns order date and amount are coming from the right table and we have the common column customer id between these two tables that is going to be used as the join and the resulting table should have these four columns so based on these requirements let's look at the functionality of the inner join so we have to focus our attention just on the two customer id columns so here we are going to have a look at the record so if i look at the customer id column here i have this id 1 here and i also have this particular customer id 1 here in the other table similarly the id 2 is present here the id 2 is so present here ID3 is present here and here we have two records for ID3 this one and this one ID4 is present in this column but there it is not present in this table and similarly ID5 is present in this particular table and it is not present here and same goes for 10 and 9 which are present in the right table but these are not present in the left table so for the in join the focus is only on the common ids between the two tables so the the common column is customer id and inside the customer id we are just focusing on the common ids the records which are present in both the tables so for the id 1 if i just focus on the id 1 here i can see that here the first name is george and the last name is washington so here you can see that for the id 1 we have george here washington here and the order date has this value and amount this value so the same comes from the right table and we have the first record for the resulting table based on the common id 1 so this is the common id 1 then for id 2 similarly we have john adams and from here we have the order date and the amount which is this value so this is for the id 2 then the id 3 is a bit different that here we have id 3 appearing once but here id 3 is appearing twice so what actually happens is that you would find that there are going to be two records so the thomas jefferson is going to come here in both these areas both these records and then here the first record is going to come from the this value so this is this value and the second is going to come from this value so this is this value and this is this value 
so what inner joint does is that inner joint is just looking at the common records so the common records for both the tables are combined in the resulting table and wherever we have a id which is present more than one so here it was present only uh, once the id3 but here there were two corresponding records so we are going to have two corresponding records and the uh, record from this table is just duplicated for both of these records so this is how the inner join works so this is the first type of join which is called as the inner join then the second type of join is the left join so again the functionality is going to be similar that we are just going to look at the common column but here as the word says left so left is basically a hypothetical thing so if i am saying seeing this my left table and seeing this as my right table so left means that i am focusing on this table so the left join says that you bring in everything from the left table so the id which is common uh, the id column which is common which is the customer id you bring in all the records from this table and only fetch the common records from this table so the common records are this one this one this one and this one these two are not common because we don't have anything here so we bring everything from here so everything from here means this one this one the the common records and the two records that we see here the last two james madison and james monroe and for the common records like we saw in the inner joint bring in the corresponding values and for the values which are present here that id 4 and 5 bring in the values from this table but as there is nothing in the table corresponding to these ids so we put null values so this is how the left join works that it brings in everything from the left table and for the values which are not common these are filled with the null value. next we have the right join so what is the right join doing so right join is essentially the opposite of left join so here the focus is on the table which is on the right side right so you have the right table here so we are going to bring everything from this table everything is going to come from this table and only the records which are common are going to come from this table so here you can see that the two ids which are not common these two ids are not common and these two are not common so these are not common but we bring the 9 and 10 ids here so the records from 9 and 10 are brought here and the corresponding values are filled with the null values like we saw for the left join the only difference is that the focus there was on the left table here the focus is on the right table so right join is very similar to the left join it is just that the position of the tables is is different the last type of join is called as the full outer join and it in cer certain uh, literature it is also called as the full jo full join or full outer join they actually mean the same thing so the full outer join me uh, actually says that you bring in everything from this table you bring in everything from this table then fill in the common records like we have seen here the common record sorry these 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 four lines these common records and then for the records which are present here put those records here and the corresponding values are the null values and similarly the values for from this table which are present only in this table and not present in this table you bring in those values and then you put the null values in the corresponding record so this is kind of combining everything so you bring everything from both the tables for the for the common records just put in the common records and for the records which are present uh, which are not present in one table and are present in the first table then just bring in the null values the corresponding null values and this kind of a join is called as the full outer join so now we are going to ha have a look at this functionality in power query editor that how we are actually going to use this join functionality and remember i said that join actually corresponds to the word merge so wherever you are going to find the word merge that actually means the join so i am going to finish the video here because this was all theoretical where we understood what the joins are and now we are going to go back into 
Power Query Editor in the next part of this video and we are going to see the functionality of Merge. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.